Okay, next, let's try a little bit more interesting, complicated use of things. It's actually pretty simple. I've got on screen a map of census block groups from the EPA Environmental Justice data set. So I can toggle that on and off. And um, it's showing in magenta those areas of the country which have a high percentile for air toxics respiratory hazard index. So air quality not so great in areas of magenta, out in areas in blue, a bit better, okay? And what we wanted to do, I wanted to use a technique that um, is available through blend modes in layers. So I've created a group called Human Footprint and I've got two layers in that group. One of the layers is this one, the World Population Footprint. You can find it in ArcGIS Online. And what this layer does, it represents those areas that are concrete, um, you see the roads, you see the settled areas of the towns. It just kind of gives you a sense of the actual structure of the built environment. And I kind of like that. And what I'm interested in is how can we blend those two data sets together and check that out. It's kind of, uh, kind of eye catching, right? It kind of pops off the page and it's, how is that accomplished? Well, I, first of all, you put the two layers you care about in a single group so that the blend interaction you set will just be between these two layers alone. And then you choose the footprint layer, go to its properties and set its blend method to destination atop. It's right here. So if I put it back to normal, this is what the map looks like. And then if I set it to destination at top, what you're saying is I only want the underlying, the bottommost layer in this group, I only want those pixels color to shine through in areas where we had black before. Make sense? And then to help this map out, I added the layer a second time, the EPA air toxin layer, because I didn't want to leave all, I didn't want to kind of represent that all this area is unimportant or uninhabited. There's farms out there, individual houses, etc. So I wanted just a splash of color in there. So I added, in this case, I added this layer a second time. And you'll note that I set the transparency to about 65%. So this is what the map would look like at 0% transparent or 100, sorry, yeah, 100% transparent over on this side. So I kind of picked somewhere in between because I kind of want these... Uh, urban areas to pop off the map and I want the rural areas to be represented but I want to let them recede into the map. And then um, the other effect we have going on is uh, I believe on must be the group layer under effects. Yeah, I've got a drop shadow. That's the part that makes it all come together. So if we had no effects in ArcGIS Online, this is about the best I could do to kind of draw your eye to the urban built up areas of each county. But now with this subtle little drop shadow, or not so subtle, depending on your point of view, you can kind of choose how do I kind of get those urban areas to draw themselves out. And again, it's by putting a drop shadow on the group layer, which had a blend mode applied as well. I really like how this pops off the map. Thank mm -hmm. you.